Alex, how, how big was it just to get out of here with the split, especially the way you did it with the, the two early Grand Slams? Um, we swung the bite well yesterday, and uh, we, we feel really good offensively. Um, yesterday we played a good game, and, and tonight we did too. And um, obviously going home and guaranteed three games, uh, that's very important. So now it's the best of, out of five, and we play three games at home. Um, you know, these are plays that, um, you know, the last two playoffs we've been here, we we swung the bat well, we play well. Um, you know, that's a tough team. <laughs> it's never comfortable with them because they're a, <clears throat> a swing away from, from getting back in the game. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's something that we talk about today, and uh, now we go to Fenway, and it should be fun. Uh, Jen in the fourth row on your left. Alex, Nate's been um, so good for you guys all year, but just what does this start you know, mean for you guys in terms of just the way that uh, you can set the rest of the, the rotation up and bullpen up and all that? I mean, there, there's a reason we map things the way we do, and some people don't agree with us, but I think we have a pretty good pulse of what we do in, in our program. And uh, yesterday, we almost pulled that off. Uh, obviously, we want Chris to go deeper, and I think he will. But having Nate in game two, Understanding and knowing that <clears throat> there's a good chance he's going he's to go, go deep in the game with the off day tomorrow, uh, we felt comfortable with, with with the way we did things. You know, he's been a horse for us. He's been amazing, and you know, he went out there and he did an amazing job. Way back, Pete in the center. Alex, their starter was working at a slow pace in the first inning. Then you had the delay in the second inning. How did you guys kind of keep their focus, and was that an issue? I don't think our focus was going to be. There, there was no way today, the way they came to the ballpark, the way they talked today in the meeting, the way they went about the business, it really didn't matter if it was an hour, an hour delay or whatever, we were locked in today. Um, I think um, obviously yesterday was disappointing, but at the same time understanding what we, we wanted to do and, and go home and, and, and have three guarantee games at Fenway, um, it, it really didn't matter. Also, um, were you concerned at all at how long it took Odorizzi to get ready? No, no, not really. Uh, you know, they they actually met to go over over the scouting report. Like, if he was a starter, which is it was cool. They kept moving around, and Nate was good. So, um, you know, I understand. It, it was weird. I never seen it that way. But uh, understanding that <clears throat> he needs to be ready and and you know to avoid injuries, it really didn't matter how long it took him. And way back in the left, Daniel. Alex. Eh, el equipo inició igual con Tampa, que perdió el primero, al otro día explotó la ofensiva. ¿Qué tienen estos muchachos cuando pierden, se ponen las pilas para el otro día? Yo creo que ayer teníamos las pilas también. Eh, lo que pasó fue que nos ganaron, ¿verdad? Jugamos un buen juego de pelota, eh, cogimos muy buenos turnos. Lamentablemente dos picheos que se quedaron uno alto y uno en medio plato. Y José Altuve y Correa conectaron cuadrangulares. Eh, en este caso hoy los muchachos salieron... O sea, cogieron buenos turnos desde el principio. Pero hemos hecho eso desde, desde el juego del, del comodín, desde Walcard. Contra los Yankees cogieron buenos turnos. Contra Tampa, a pesar de que nos, nos blanquearon, cogimos buenos turnos. So, ofensivamente hablando, estamos en un buen momento. Alex, what was the issue with Nate when you brought the trainer out in the fifth, I think? And did he he slipped. I think he slipped. There was a, a big hole, so he slipped a little bit. And, uh, you know, he, he made like a gesture and he started stretching. Um, and, you know, but um, he, he said he was fine. It was actually kind of like his back. But um, he said he was fine. He came in, got the outright, and came in. And, um, you know, they check on him, they stretch him out, and there's no issues. Do two more for Alex, Chad, and then Alex. Alex, just what was Nate doing during the delay? Just hanging out with Bushy. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing he could do. He just sitting there, moving around, stretching. Uh, I actually told him, hey, you can take as long as, you know, whatever time you want, you know, to get ready. And he's like, no, I'm, I'm good. So he treated it like a long inning. And, and do you have a game three starter now? Not yet. Not yet. And we'll go to Alex uh, on the left. Alex, the offensive approach had been inconsistent at times uh, during the regular season, with you know, especially with strike zone management. What are you seeing in the postseason, and what you you talked about the focus? You know, what what are you seeing in the hitters' meetings right now? 
there's a lot of conversations. I got a lot of feedback. Um, I guarantee you they're studying a little bit more, you know, watching not only one start, two starts, but three or four, you know, and uh, going back to a month ago, two months ago, looking for tendencies, um, you know, the, talking about <clears throat> the characteristics of the fastball, and, and because that's what they do, you know, they, they different angles, different shapes of, of breaking balls, uh, you know, they, they, they do what they do, they attack how they attack, so you got to be ready. It's very different from Tampa. Tampa, I think it was more aggressive in the strike zone. These guys, they, they, they do what they do. They expand the zone. We struck out, what, 12, 13 times anyways uh, today, right? Something like that. So um, we still can be better. But overall, I think it's, it's more about what we can do and, and just try to keep that line moving. I, I think it's, uh, you know, when, when, you, when we have this humble approach, you know, that we're not trying to do too much, then big things happen. And uh, JD, that was great to see, you know, going the other way. Um, Rafi not trying to do too much and hitting the grand slam and so on and so on. So it, it's a very good approach right now. Uh, we're not getting greedy. Uh, like I said a few days ago, it's not about hitting 30 home runs or driving in 100, uh, 100 uh, runs. It's about, you know, winning four games against the Astros. So now we got one and now we got a family.